To create the design, I am going to add a cylinder with 32 words. Then scale the cylinder along the z-axis like this. Apply the scale. Then go to the edit mode. Select the spaces. And then E to extrude the spaces along the y-axis. Then S, Y and give the value 0 to make them straight. Select the spaces and use the insert operation. Give the proper thickness and then right click breach faces select this corner edge and control b add bevel on it add a two segment bevel then select everything and press m merge by distance so double words will get merge then shift a mesh add a cylinder and this time i'm going to add 24 word cylinder rotate this cylinder into 90 degree and move it along the y-axis and scale it down in this way give it a position like this and s y scale it along the y-axis in this way go to the edit mode select these words and press j to connect them like this then select this face and e to extrude it and move it along the y-axis then select this cylinder and move it along the y-axis and give the position like this Select this cylinder and shift it to duplicate it and hide it. Then select these two objects and use the boolean operation difference. Here I am using the boolean toolkit add-on so that's why I am getting this pie menu. You can get this add-on on our Gumroad store, link is in the description. Then apply this boolean modifier and delete this cutter object. And here is our inner cylindrical part. Isolate this cylinder, select this face loops and delete these faces select these faces and delete them select this edge loop and press F to fill the gap then select this corner edges and control B add a bevel on them add one segment bevel and give the proper bevel width then take the symmetry along the z-axis then isolate it and now we need to create a topology here Use the knife tool and create straight cut along the y-axis. Dissolve this edge. Select these words and press J to connect them. Select these words and merge at last. Dissolve this edge. Dissolve this edge. Select this word and merge at last. Select these words and press J to connect them. Dissolve these edges. Use the knife tool here and see X and create cut along the X axis. Add one loop cut here and then create cut like this. Create cut like this and then dissolve this edge. Create cut along the X axis like this. You need to add two loop cuts here like this and then connect these words. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the Z axis. Delete one half of the model, then select this edge loop. And control B, add bevel on them. Add two segment bevel, shape factor should be one. And give the proper bevel width, in this way. Select this words and press J to connect them. Because all these edges. Select these words and press J to connect them and dissolve these edges. Select these words and merge at last and dissolve the edge. Select this edge loop and control X to dissolve it. Select this edge and use the set flaw on it. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize. Take the symmetry, add one loop cut here and use the set flaw on it. Then select these words and press J to connect them. And then hit Ctrl 2 to add the sub modifier. Uncheck this option. Here select these words and merge at last. And then dissolve these edges. Dissolve this edge also. Select everything and mesh and symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the z-axis. And add a two loop cuts here. Now select this cylindrical part. Select this face. And move it along the y-axis. Apply the scale and add a bevel on it. Add one segment bevel. Select this edge loops 
and control b and add bevel on it add it to segment bevel and give the proper bevel width select this face select this face use the insert operation delete this faces select this edge loop and face grid fill adjust the offset select this edge loop and face grid fill and hit control 2 to add the sub modifier add to loop cut here now select this object and take the symmetry and you will get this kind of design you can see the form and you can see the topology so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel bye bye see so next video take care